Sweet Dreams, Sarah, by Vivian Kirkfield, illustrated by Chris Ewald. Before the Civil War, Sarah obeyed her owner. Hurry up! Eyes down! Don't speak! Slaves were property, like a cow or plow or the cotton that grew in the master's fields. But every day Sarah dreamed of a different life. A husband, a family, a job that she loved. Her father was a carpenter. With a hammer in his hands, he could build anything. Sarah thought she could too. Then something happened that changed their lives forever. A new law freed people from slavery. Sarah moved to Chicago with freedom in her pocket, hope in her heart, and dreams swirling in her head. She made her first dream come true when she married a kind stair builder named Archibald Good. They started a family her second dream. Sarah rented out rooms in their home to people who needed a place to live. She saved every penny she could to pay for her third dream, her own furniture store. Every day, Sarah worked alongside her husband, measure, cut, sand. And every day, Sarah listened to her customers Pretty crowded at our place. There are five of us crammed into one room. Sure wish the kids had their own bed. Many of Sarah's customers worked at low paying jobs. And even those with big families could only afford to live in a one room apartment. Sarah looked at the furniture in their store. Too boxy, too bulky, too big. Then Sarah had an idea, another dream. Maybe she could build a piece of furniture that would save space for her customers. If she could create a new kind of bed that folded up when it wasn't being used, each kid could have their own bed. Sarah hurried to the lumber yard, clutching her precious saved coins. And when she returned home, she began building her invention. Measure, cut, sand. Finally, she hammered in the last nail. Standing back, she looked at her creation. A desk, but not just any desk. Inside the cabinet doors, a fold-out bed was hidden. Sarah pulled she pushed, stuck. Sarah took it all apart and started over again, but everything went wrong. Wood split, nails bent, the bed wouldn't lay flat. Sarah didn't give up. She took a deep breath and dove right in to fix it again. At last, she stepped back and smiled. Now, when she pulled out the bed, it slid back in without a catch or a squeak. Archibald wanted to sell it in his store right away. But Sarah knew there was one more thing she had to do. She dreamt it. She built it. Now she needed to claim it. Sarah needed to get a patent. A patent is a piece of paper from the government that says no one else can make or sell your invention. If someone else got the patent first, Sarah would lose the right to make and sell her cabinet beds. Sarah met with a patent attorney and they filled out the application. She explained how her cabinet bed was a new and useful idea. Sarah slipped the documents into an envelope and mailed it. And the waiting began. Months passed. Had the application gotten lost in the mail? Had they found out that she was a woman 
or that she was black? Sarah knew some people thought a woman should stay at home to cook and clean and take care of the children. She knew that others believed if you had dark skin, you didn't have a right to own anything and certainly not a patent. But Sarah knew better. After a year, a letter finally arrived, denied. There were also patents on similar inventions. Sarah needed to prove hers was different. Carefully, she changed a word here and a sentence there, explaining more about her unique mechanism, the idea that had come to her so long ago. Slipping the paperwork and a bit of her heart into the envelope, Sarah sealed her fate and sent it off. Once again, she waited. This time, a thick envelope arrived from the U.S. Government Patent Office. Sarah took a deep breath. She slid out the papers. She read out loud, S.E. Good, Cabinet Fed, number 322,177, patented July 14, 1885. Staring at her name in print, Sarah proudly traced each letter. Her idea, her invention, her name in history. She had built more than a piece of furniture. She had built a life far away from slavery. A life where her sweet dreams could come true. To learn more about Sarah Good, continue reading. The End to find Sweet Dream Sarah and other books by Virginia Kirkfield, visit your local library.